Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Mason Mount card to check out. We're taking a look at someone who is 5'11", high, high work rates, right-footed, four-star skills with a four-star weak foot. Uh, position changes, he's got cam and right-wing in-game player traits. He's got finesse shot, flare, flare passes, chip shot, long shot, taker, swerve pass, technical dribbler. So the basic, you know, player traits they've been given most of the players uh we do have to give them the hunter chemistry style because obviously in this game uh pace is always a very well relevant thing to work with um so with this card he's going to have 96 for acceleration 92 for sprint speed while working with better shooting capabilities now with his original position being the cam spot i'm going to be honest that is probably going to be the main position that i actually see the card being used in um if you're playing like a 3-4-2-1 system uh, you could potentially use him in that left wing, right wing position as well. Like that wouldn't necessarily be horrible, but um, as long as it's kind of like base in the middle, right? Because in that left wing, right wing position for that three back formation, you're still based off of the middle because you have the left mids and right mids, right? So he kind of plays through that um, middle area as much as possible. But it's the cam position, but it's also the center mid position as the attacking oriented card, right? So you know how you play like a 4-3-3 system, but you use an actual box-to-box -box player that has defensive stats in those positions, depending on which type of formation you're using. If you're using a 4-3-2-1 formation and he's being played as your right center mid, that's the ideal situation, right? Because it's either you use it to the left side or to the right side in that 4-3-2-1. You guys know the instructions of it. Um, so just food for thought right uh passing on the card also in a very good area dribbling we'll be experimenting with it's all in the 90s area considering the fact that he's a lean body type player uh we do have to kind of test that out in game as well right so uh defensive stats he has some and then for physical capabilities he has a few there as well with a 99 for stamina so a lot of interesting stuff to be fair a lot of interesting stuff but um with Mason Mount, for the sake of the review, we'll be using him up, up top in the striker position, and then I'll just be rotating him uh, accordingly as well. I'll try him on the cam spot, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, we'll try out the card. Hopefully, he's decent. Okay, let's see how this card does. Oh, those are low percentage strikes, to be fair. Those are low percentage, but it's a good run. Yeah, that one I should have forced a driven pass into him, build up the play from there. That wasn't actually bad. Yeah, the left stick there wasn't bad. It's good that he has a lean body type for that because I need that quick touch because they commit the defender just that little bit so you have the uh the through ball there you know that works that works regular white time strike it has to be a little bit lower for a better finesse shot. It's always the, the the top and lower angles that work out the best. Ooh, they didn't know I was gonna do that. They had no idea, but it would've been nice though. Would've been nice. Listen, the constant adjustments right there was really solid. Very, very good to score that opportunity. Nice. Great strike. Guys, this Mason Mounts card is actually... De it's definitely it's definitely his best ever in FIFA, like any FIFA for sure. Because Mason Mount is usually like pretty generic, you know. Yeah, see, it's the constant adjustments. I like players that do that, man. Oh yeah, the other guy came. Ah, oh, I couldn't get the green on it. 
Left stick was solid there, though. That wasn't bad at all. Ah, I had a good initial shot there, though. Well, that is how to play advantage. Patient build up at the moment. Opportunity. Oh, if I greened it, maybe, man. Yeah, you know, his 90 for dribbling stats in every single area, it works for him because of his lean body type. Like, his lean body type actually feels good. If it was an average, probably wouldn't feel as responsive, but it's actually solid. So because of the pace of the card, um, like obviously I'm using him in the striker position for the sake of the review, but he's not like a crazy runner type, right? Because of his base card stats for pace, the way that it works with his height, body type, all that good stuff, right? So, you know, you want to specifically use him in that center mid area for the attacking role or in the cam position because your pace doesn't need to be as crazy in that cam position. Because you kind of just build up the play like this for the most part, right? Slowly, slowly, slowly. And then once you get that open space right there, he's like backing up into the player. Use that, right? Touch. Ah. <laughs> he's offside, but sometimes you almost get lucky in those situations if they actually stay on side. Yeah, a little bit of an emphasis right there, right? That's that's just Mbappe being Mbappe. <laughs> that's just Mbappe being Mbappe. See, Mbappe with the pace in the cam position, I mean, no problem, because this guy's literally no one's like him, but, you know. <laughs> that worked. Oh, we tried it. We tried it. Ah, oh, come on. Nice. Timed that really well against the uh, opponent there. Oh, he actually almost offered me a defensive play there. Oh, he did the right animation too. Just the shot, man. The shot wasn't great. Very solid movements the whole time there. That was actually good. Okay. Great strike. Yeah, good left stick. Very good left stick. Considering that's an L1 R1 pass, uh, it wasn't bad actually. It wasn't even facing the direction properly. I had to do like a touch before, so like that, and then you do it. See, it's just for consistency, right? Passes come off great. That was random. I don't know what just happened there. Do that. Heal to heal. Use a skill move. Ball roll. Take it out a little bit. Nope. Go back in. Yeah, I just have to... See that small touch that I do there? It's just for the consistency behind the finesse. 
great opportunity. Ah, oh, I should have just gone far post there. Chance to do damage. Oh. Nice finesse shot. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Mason Mount card. So for me personally, this is probably the most enjoyable Mason Mount card I've ever used in FIFA because normally when they release cards for him, whether it was like team of the season, whether it was like them releasing him with some defensive stats and stuff, the card just wasn't that crazy, right? Um, He's not that crazy now. This promo is literally just about making certain cards as usable as possible for the meta of the gameplay uh, and they've actually done a pretty solid job with some of these cards right like with mason mount i do feel like he's one of those types of cards like he performs pretty well uh in game on a hunter chemistry style i think his movement is great if i wanted to use him in a two striker lineup as one of two strikers that would be perfectly fine for him i wouldn't say the same thing for someone like jack grealish like with jack grealish i would say specifically to use him in the cam position right but with mason mount you could totally do it if you want you just lack in pace from time to time because of the running animation right like you use a player like mbappe you know how fast these guys can get right um but the main position that i definitely see him being used in or it's usually two i would say it's the cam position because i feel like he'd play that area really well with his high high work rates it'd be great for him but it's also the attacking oriented center mid in like a 4-3-2-1 system something like that right because this card having some defensive capabilities with a high defensive work rate is very beneficial for a card that's going to have the hunter chemistry style right so it's just one of those types of situations for him passes come off great the dribbling works out well for him because even though his dribbling stats is in the 90s area for everything, um, the lean body type works well with his 5'11 height and stuff, right? The only thing that you notice is just the running animation, right? Like, he's not, like, super light on his feet when it comes to running animation, but when it comes to the stuff, like, on the ball, general movement, using uh, the explosive accelerate to move into certain positions as quickly as possible... I personally like the card a lot, right? I think giving him a Hunter chemistry style and formatting him in a way where he has decent pace, good shooting, passing's there, dribbling is there with the lean body type. It's all very, very good stuff to work with. And then the 99 stamina is also another plus to work with too because, you know, if you want to use a card like this uh, playing in the midfield positions, he would be perfectly fine too. So um, it's not like a crazy card to get for like all of the objectives that you do like you would probably encounter in different types of video games but he's obviously still pretty cool i actually really like the card for what it was he's one of my i would say he's one of my favorite footballer cards that i've tried out he's definitely one of the top i would say he's uh he's really fun to use for sure um and not fun to use like he's horrible guys like fun to use like he's pretty decent um yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to probably see what we could do about Ederson because he's a goalkeeper, right? So we'll see what kind of highlights we can get out of him. Uh, maybe I go do like a foot champs run with like the footballers cards and just take it from there. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.